But then let's look at how to use dialogues in Scratch. Scratch Cat came to Singapore, met his very friend, Marley. Marley brought him to different places. So first, let's upload Marley. This is Marley. Uh, you can see he's too big for Scratch Cat. Let's change its size. Just nice. But we want Marley to face Scratch Cat. So go to Costumes, Flip Horizontal. Okay, nice. Now let's add pictures for different places in Singapore. So I will add Malai, which is the landmark of Singapore. We will also add Gardens by the Bay, Kampong Glam, and Katong. These are all historical places in Singapore. We can delete this empty backdrop. You can see all these backgrounds are not filling the whole space. So we can select the whole picture and we just drag it to make it fill up the whole space. Okay, do the same for all the pictures. Let's start with the Malai. Make Scratch Cat and Merlin stand on the floor. Okay, we can let Merlin talk first. So when Green Flag clicked, Merlin is going to say, Welcome to Singapore, Scratch Cat. After that, we need Scratch Cat to respond. Okay, so let's change the name to Cat. Okay, when Green Flag clicked, and remember Merlin talked for two seconds. So Scratch Cat need to wait for two seconds before he talks. Go back to the cat. Wait for two seconds. Cat is going to say, Nice to meet you, Merlin. Okay. After that, we go back to Merlin. Merlin is going to ask the cat where he wants to go. And remember, cat talked for two seconds. So Merlin needs to wait for two seconds. At this time, we want Merlin to ask a question. I'll go to Sensing. You can ask, Where do you want to go? Now let's run the program first. You can see when Merlin asks a question, it is expecting an answer. Let's just put Gardens by the Bay. Okay, once you put that, this answer will be equal to Gardens by the Bay. So based on the cat's response, Merlin is going to bring the cat to the place. We need an if else. If answer equal to Gardens by the Bay, we are going to switch the backdrop to Gardens by the Bay. Okay, let's try again. Gardens by the Bay. You can see the backdrop already switched. So we need to do the same for the other places. So we'll duplicate this if for three times. If answer equal to Campbell Glam, we will switch backdrop to Campbell Glam. If answer equal to Cartoon, we will switch backdrop to Cartoon. Okay, let's try again. This time we'll give a different answer. Cartoon. You can see the backdrop is switched. Okay, but now when we click the green flag, we need to switch the backdrop back to the Malayan. So we can also write code for the backdrop. So click backdrop. You can see we can do the code here. Events when green flag clicked, I will switch backdrop to a lion. Once we arrive at a new place, we want the cat to say something. But this time, we don't want to keep counting how many seconds we need to wait. So another way to do it is to use a broadcast. So go back to Mali. We can do a broadcast. We can use a message called arrived. Okay, let's test the first one. If I go to gardens by the bay, I'm going to broadcast ar arrived. So we will do the same for all the different places. So go back to the cat. We can do when I receive arrived, I'm going to say something. I will say, wow, this place is so nice. Or you can put the name of the place in the sentence as well. For that, we can use join. So go to operations, choose join. Okay, we need another join because we are going to first put wow. Then we are going to put the name of the place, which is the answer is so nice. And remember that we need to put a space before the A's and after a while. So we put this part here. Now we put this under here. Okay, now let's try again. Let's put um, cartoon. Wow, cartoon is so nice. So we have the name of a place in the response. So that's how to use dialog 